everyone. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to make a person to fly the UFO or drive a car. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to switch the characters. And then we will continue from that to make a person disappear after getting into the UFO or the car. Let's look at the current code. Now we can switch between characters when the pad buttons are pressed. But we no longer need those, so we are going to remove them. Except the on start no done because we want the first character to be the person. So in the next step, I want to make sure that when I touch the UFO and I press X, the person will disappear and then I will control the UFO. So to do that, I have to add a touch sensor to the UFO. And then I connect this one to the UFO. I go to the settings. Here I have to make sure that the connection point is center to center. Check the person. Then I have to resize it to make sure that it is slightly larger than the UFO. Because we cannot walk inside the UFO, right? Yeah, we have to touch the outside. Don't forget to check from the other view as well. Yeah, make it slightly larger. So now we are able to detect if a person has touched the UFO. We need a button. X here. When these two conditions are met, we have to make the person disappear and also turn on the UFO flag. So to make the person disappear, I will need the teleport entrance. Then I connect this teleport entrance to the UFO. And then I also need to make sure that it is larger than the UFO. I go to the settings. And then I disable visible. Teleport the person. Yeah, then we only need to teleport the person if both of these conditions are met. So I'm going to add an logic. Then I add inputs from X button and also touch sensor. Then when this happens, I will teleport the person. And also to make sure that the person does not disappear forever, let's teleport the person to somewhere else. So I'm going to add the teleport exit A here. What will happen is that the person will be teleported here after entering the car or the UFO. Okay, let's test it. So now I'm a person and I'm walking to the UFO. Then I press X. Yeah, now the person has disappeared but we cannot control anything. Yeah. Let's make this touch sensor invisible first. So next, we have to change the control to the UFO, right? This can be done by turning on the UFO flag. So here, I'm going to add a wormhole entrance. I'm going to name it as U to match UFO. I will use this to send a signal to turn on the UFO flag. Here, I'm going to add the wormhole exit U. So when you happens, I will turn on the UFO flag, but turn off the other two flags. Okay, let's test. I'm going to walk to the UFO, then press X. Yeah, and now I can control the UFO. Nice. Yeah, so we are going to do the same thing with the car as well. I'm going to copy the whole circuit here. Then, I link the touch sensor to the car and link the teleport entrance to the car as well. Instead of using entrance U, I'm going to change this to be entrance C to match car. Then here, I'm going to add a wormhole exit C to turn on the car flag. I turn on the car here and then turn off the other two flags. Okay, let's try driving a car. So now I'm walking to the car. And then I'm pressing X. Yeah, so now I can drive the car as well. But I cannot leave the car. I stuck in the car forever. 
So, yeah, let's make sure that we can leave the UFO or the car after driving them. So now we are going to fix the problem that the person cannot leave the UFO or the car after entering them. Yeah, so let's look at the UFO first. When can a person exit from the UFO? That's when the current UFO flag is true and then the button Y is pressed. So I'm going to add the button Y here. Then I need a logic AND. So when this flag is true and Y is pressed, I have to switch into the person by turning on the person flag. And yeah, turn off the UFO flag. Also, when the person has left the UFO, we have to teleport the person back to this location. So here I need a teleport exit. Let's use ID B for the UFO. And I'm going to connect this to the UFO. I'm going to add the entrance B to the person at the edge of the screen. But I have to send a signal to the teleport entrance, right? So here I'm going to add another wormhole entrance. Let me add wormhole entrance R here. Then I'm going to where the teleport exit A is and then add the wormhole exit R. Then add teleport entrance B. So make sure that the teleport ID is B and teleport a person. Then I'm going to link this exit R with the teleport entrance B. Okay, let's try with the UFO. So I'm going to walk into the UFO, then press X. Then now I'm driving the UFO, but if I press Y, yeah, I can leave the UFO successfully and we no longer get trapped inside the UFO. Okay, let's repeat the same thing with the car. So I'm going, I'm going to copy the part that makes a person leave the UFO. I want a person to leave a car when the current character is car, right? So for this anode, I need car flag input. And then for this wormhole ID, I have to make sure that it's different from the UFO one. So I'm going to change this into S. Also, don't forget to turn on the person's flag. And also turn on the car flag. Next, I'm going to add the teleport exit C to make sure that a person can leave the car. Connect this teleport exit to the car. Next, we have to add the teleport entrance C, right? We go to the edge of this screen. Then we add teleport entrance C. We have to make sure that we are teleporting the person. And then this teleport is used when wormhole exit S sends a signal. So we need wormhole exit S. Connect this to the teleport entrance. Then I move this one to overlap the other teleports. Okay, now it looks good. Let's test it. Now a person is walking around. If I press X here, the person is now driving the UFO. But if I press Y, the person leaves the UFO. And if we press X when the person is next to the car, we can now drive the car. Yay! But if we press Y, yeah, we can exit the car and no longer get stuck there. Yeah, that's it for today's tutorial. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any suggestion, let me know in the comments. Lastly, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye, and see you next time.